So welcome to Profile 3 TV and today I'm very excited to welcome our guests and we're going to talk about the feminist shop. But I'm going to let you guys introduce yourselves and tell us all about your background and your business. Hi, well uh, I'm Virginia and well I'm a Spanish as you can tell from the accent uh, but I've been living in Belfast for five years now. And I do come from a very corporate background, so I studied both law and business, went straight to a big four to Deloitte and just wasn't for me. Um, came <clears throat> to Belfast with uh, Chris by then, we were married, same mistake, straight to PwC and again not quite for me. So I've been working in recruitment uh, for three years, half a couple of kids, um, they're very small now, and, and when I was pregnant with my first son, before I knew if he was a boy or a girl, I wrote a book against gender stereotypes, um, and it was a bilingual book, obviously. Uh, so we pub well, <clears throat> I published it, and, and yeah, it was great, but I think when you taste the entrepreneurial sort of side of things, it's very difficult to come back if it's something you're truly passionate about. So I quit my job and decided to give it a proper go. And not very long after this author was my my path, Chris and I came with the idea of the feminist show, and, and yeah, it's been a gigantic process. and and project and we love it um, so yeah it's been taking all our time since then it's been our passion yeah very very much <laughs> yeah very much so and my background is 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 in e-commerce mm -hmm. where that's where the, the 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 link again comes with the feminist shop um i've been working online in digital for the past 15 or more years I'm getting a bit long in the tooth now so uh, started started in France in Paris I ran a portfolio dating websites for four or five years there and that gave me that gave me a taste to do my own thing I set up my own social network for music which is which is still going but never quite made me the you know Facebook billions I was, I was thinking of and um, so after after four years doing that fancy getting Getting a salary job again, and that's when we moved back to we moved back to Northern Ireland, um, from Spain at that stage, mm -hmm. and I've been working in in Titanic Quarter for um, export technologies IRP, my own big big e-commerce outfit here in in Northern Ireland for the past for the past six years, and it's only just in the last few months um, I've decided that I'd wanted to go out go out on my own, so I've actually. Part of part of that has been has been the feminist shop because it was just a match there that we saw a, a niche in the market and we wanted to go for it and part of that for me as well is I'm doing e-commerce e-commerce consultancy too so we're also you know practicing what I preach as well and incredible which is very important and I have to say being on the the website I'm blown away it's the you know normally you go onto an e-commerce website and it's uh, shutters and everything <laughs> is everywhere but uh, it's amazing I'm very impressed and loads of content on it as well so. Uh, it's, so uh, anyone watching this has to check out. Go check the the, the website out and check. You know, have a look at what an e-commerce site should be like. Well, thank you. There's, I mean, there's, you know, doing me wrong. There's a lot more we like to do to it, but uh, you know, with um, and we actually only launched. Uh, when did we launched? Uh, November. Beginning of November. So it was a big, big push to get us out there in time for the busy time of year, and luckily it did because you know it was, it was it was great for us. But it's. Um, yeah, there's, there's, a work there's, still, there's still lots of things we'd like to we'd like to improve upon there, but yeah. it's, but it's going well. No, brilliant. So tell us, what is the feminist shop? So, um, so the feminist shop is a destination online to go. Um, so it has it's an umbrella where we want to cover different sp different aspects of feminist. Um, we understand that feminist is very very stigmatized at the moment and. And we want to be the place where people come. It doesn't matter if you're just learning what feminism is, or if you are an apologetically feminist, an angry feminist, as me. Um, so it doesn't matter. We want to be the place that create that community and that understanding that feminism is about equality. So the feminist shop has a part which is really important, which is about content. So we not only produce our own content, but we share amazing content that there's out there. There's great podcasts, great websites, um, there's articles, 
we couldn't produce all that material and we don't want to we just want to shout out about the people that are um, we also have uh, associations that we partner with and we give them 10% of our gross profits but also we like to let people know that they exist at the moment we're working with three but the idea is to obviously grow and and then there is obviously the shop and within the shop we got a site for books because we, you can't really understand feminists without books and reading and content but also um, apparel and gifts and for us it, we see our products as wearable activism because we want to start conversations and be people wearing wearing them and showcase them as a statement maker so feeling their feminists as something to be proud instead of something to be almost you know apologizing for and and yeah because we wanted to be ethic from the very beginning and um, all our products are um, done in a renewable energy factory fairware organic cotton so there's there's a lot of ethics um, behind it and, and we just wanted to take all the right boxes from the beginning and not be caught into you know we're gonna save the world and destroy it on the other hand like we just want to do generally our best incredible and you're right about the you know the people are so concerned where the products are coming from so and they should yeah. i mean i think it's very important that as as the market but also as businesses mm -hmm. we do have a responsibility mm -hmm. and it's um, i mean it, it should be in your adn who you are and yeah, like as business, we, we should have it in our very own foundations. This is what we believe in and and we need to be responding to the world and, and to our public about what we're doing and which good and bad we're bringing with us. And you see a lot of change uh, in, in the world today. There's a lot of movements and uh, feminism is oh, yeah. one of them. But th th I think it's an, aware. Oh my God, I think it's such an exciting time to be alive. Yeah. And there's also a lot of backlash is backlash the word <laughs> a lot of backlash and you get people that are feeling like the status quo has been challenged and it's getting a lot of trump bolsonaro um you know there's a lot of movements that are directly fighting all those advancements but i think we are so connected now and you cannot unsee things i think it's a one-way street and people are realizing things and people are feeling part of this thing bigger than them and and they feel their responsibility they have to leave a better place that they came into so um i genuinely believe people are much more concerned and much more um interested in have a positive footprint in the world it's incredible yes you, more and more people are becoming educated with the media yeah. and we don't realize what's what's happening but uh, no when yeah. you, you have a look around you it's incredible but What's happening? So we, yeah. we we will see. We will see. But there's still, there's still I mean, but there's there's still a way to go too, which yeah. is I suppose that's you know, that's the core mission of the of the feminist shop is to is to spread the effort as we put it, you know, spread understanding of feminism why it's needed and uh, and, and and the positive impact it can have. So that's you know we're kind of attacking that head on with with the content and the understanding and then trying to get people to. Yeah. And it does start, work. Start, conversa yeah. start conversations with their with, with their clothing. You know, it's brilliant. No, but again, you know, we all have kids. Uh, you know, you're thinking of your, your your children and what the future, what the world will be like for them. Yeah. And again, we all went through some interesting times growing up. Some good stories, some bad stories. But we, we do want to, as you say, leave the, the world in a better place and, and oh, yeah. see a, a brighter future for everyone. And it's a, no, it's a strange, a strange time for. But, for sure. But even as parents, it's not only my feeling is that not only we have, we want the world to be a better place for them, but I think we also have a responsibility with the world. I mean, our kids are going to be the leaders of tomorrow. We need them to be, you know, a, an important part of the change. I think the change starts with them. And if we educate the kids, we won't have to punish the adults. We need to, you know, like we talk about with our kids about important things and they're very small yet but but you cannot expect them to understand consent in in the future if you don't respect their own consent when they tell you you know they don't want to give you a kiss or you know we, it's and it's something we kind of try to have in mind constantly that they are gonna grow up and they are learning constantly and they're so 
um, there's so many stereotypes coming from everywhere that it's it's just you know I think it's it's mandatory that as parents we just sit down and, and think what we're doing and you know how we can overcome all those messages and do our part. It's amazing. Yeah, trying to trying to bring up your kids in the best way possible. That's it. <laughs> but it's tough. tough. It's tough. Oh, it's tough. Yeah. God, it changes every day. But what to do? So I'm guessing we're talking about change. So you you're in recruitment and then you decided to to open an e-commerce yeah. uh, shop and, and change the world. But what what was the steps or main main change there? Well, it was the book. Probably like the book just opened a completely new thing in me, and I was just something just clicked like I that like that passion you know now has a, cha a channel and it it can be like, I will happily spend all my day talking about this and making people aware and just doing things that that I love and it was Christmas and Chris and I were looking for presents um, online as you do um, and I wanted to make feminist presents to everybody because that that's my thing. So, and there yeah. was not really any obvious. Yeah, this was place. Christmas last year, so Christmas two thousand and eighteen, when we were trying to buy feminist gifts for the family, and there just wasn't anything. I mean, there were things here and there, but there was nothing that you're like, I know exactly where to go that I can't wait to support. Um, because also Christmas is that time of the year that you're willing to support things that you believe in. Or it should be. Um, yeah, so there's, yeah. It felt like a no-brainer. Like, you love e-commerce and I love families. And there is this obvious gap. And and we check um, the domain, the thefamilyshop.com. And it was there. Nobody got it. It was like, what is this? It's a sign from destiny. Yes, yeah, so we, didn't, we didn't think twice about that one. Cause it was, yeah. It felt like so it, obvious. It, it felt right. And then, yeah, it's, it's the fact that there was nothing... I suppose there was, um, there were options there to buy a, a buy a, you know you can buy a feminist T-shirt on Amazon, mm -hmm. but you're buying it from Amazon and it's, you know it's, it doesn't quite match with the with the ethics and what you're on what you're trying to and what yeah. you're trying to achieve. So there's there was definitely an opportunity there to to, to do it right. Yes. Yeah, it did the stars. It was gonna be just an e-commerce small website for us to you know he practice and me just to do that but then it was we should have these too oh my god we need books we need to work with associations we need to be very ethical we need to be a recognizable brand and then it just grew and grew and it it doesn't make sense anything else now like now you need the whole picture to um, to get it and yeah no very very exciting it's been a really really exciting project very process yes, and, and you Obviously, uh, we've done many, many businesses before, uh, and and uh, experienced many, many ups and downs. But in the process, then you're you're early, early in this venture. Have you seen any bumps in the road or um, tough? To yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't? De de <laughs> so we're, we're not <laughs> alone then. Uh? No. Um, Where to start? Yeah, I, you go for one. I would say, and like any entrepreneur listening will not the hair eat the biggest one is fear i mean especially at the beginning all those inner critics why me why now why you know there will be other people what if this doesn't work the fate we do have a massive i feel in europe there's a massive risk of failure like people hate failing i don't know about here that much definitely in spain the, the ultimate embarrassment is having a business that haven't worked. Well, in America, it's like, sure, get up, do it again. Um, so I think overcoming that fear of why me, what if this doesn't work, um, it's massive. And it's still here. Don't get me wrong. There's days that we wake up and it's like, it helps. Great. It helps. It helps being, I mean, we're a couple, but even just if we were business partners, it helps to being. A couple of people there, so that when one of us is doubting, <laughs> the other one is positive, and it generally works that way. Mm -hmm. And then you, know, you 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 feed off each other, and you need someone to pick you up sometimes. So that's that's been that's yeah, been that is very. Good. I mean, and then of course the business. You know, of course we didn't launch in time. The, you know, the the content took longer to get together. The website took longer to build than we thought. 
Um, but still, we have a massive list of things to do to get it where we want. But it's yeah, so I think in general, we're really happy with the results so far. But it just took us a little longer than than expected to get there. You know that. You know we kind of expected that would happen, but you, but but you maybe kid yourself for a while that you're gonna turn everything around in a few weeks. I, I think it's also the feeling of like getting making peace with the fact that it's never gonna be a finished project. It's always gonna be you know it's a journey, and things that you'll try things they won't work. You change and you'll pivot. You come back and you know having a big vision, but then walking. It, there's not like okay we've launched that's done it's like no and now it's just like the very beginning so i think making peace with that this is not there's not an end it's a process and it's a walk and it's always room to get better um i think that is a you know a big learning step for any business and and uh, again we're talking about obviously e-commerce we're talking about the family shop so i can't get escape the question so for anyone that's watching that maybe doesn't have a clear definition but what, what, is what is feminism? What does it mean to you? You know, what what what's it the the, the best definition? Yeah. Well, I let, I let Virginia go into the depths and that. For me, it's for me, it's just equality. You know, it's equality of opportunities. It's equality of, of rights, and that's where the first mis misconception I see often comes from that people think it's some kind of you know man man hating vendetta or something mm -hmm. that's supposed to you know and it's. Yeah, and it's, it's it's obviously not. So it's 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 that fight for it's that fight for equality. But there's there's a there's a mission for us to get around transmitting that message, um, and then also once people are sold in that definition, um, understanding that you know the, the the positivity of it and, and why it's still needed even in Western society where we're much more advanced than in than than in other countries where it's you know. It's a fundamental, but there's there's still a lot of way to go. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think with feminist case awareness, I think we need to open our eyes and realize, you know, it is real. Feminist is about equal rights and opportunities, but the first step will be to understand: Do we have real rights and opportunities? And the answer is no. The answer is that from the very beginning, we are separated by gender, and we are fit different things and have different expectations and and we justified a lot of things in the name of nature but since the moment a baby's born and you you put up a, a massive you know pack bag of pre you know pressure of expectations of what to do what not to do and you talk to them differently and you act around them differently and we cannot talk about real opportunities um the lack of role models the the lack of of women that we study in the schools, um, I mean, there's there's so many things that that are there, and we need to see. And it's very difficult sometimes to welcome somebody to your anger, as in, I'm gonna just open your eyes and make your life miserable as mine. Just <laughs> welcome to the way I see the world, where there's a lot of unfairness. But <clears throat> but it is really a one way street. Like you can't unsee things. You can't. Um, and you don't want to. I think there is a lot of Gloria Statham, which is one of my biggest feminist idols, um, said, um, "Truth will set you free, but fairs will piss you off." And I think that is exactly true. And it's that is what feminism is. It's like, but sorry, I'm gonna need to piss you off, but this is what will make all of us free, and we know we own it. So, so yeah. But again, it is just quality at the end of the day, and. We're very, we're very clear in our website and in who we are that not everybody is the same kind of feminist. So there's people that are whispers, there are people that are all about empowering, there are people that are all about rioting, there's, and that's all fine. I mean, we don't want to establish who is a good feminist and who's not. We just want people to just make peace with the fact that we're all in the same boat fighting for equality and just support each other and celebrate that common ground so that's that's really a big part of our mission yeah and you see actually you see it on the way we've, we've divided our content and our products into kind of stages of feminism so we you know from from not a feminist yet to so you're discovering what is feminism the, and uh, and the, the reasons for its, its its requirement to 
you know, to unapolog unapologetic feminist, angry feminist, and which is positive. the state, which is which is positive, you know. So various various, just just to cover that scope, because we understand, you know, we understand like everybody's not you and I. We're yeah, completely we're different. different kind of feminists, and I respect Grizzly highly as a feminist. I don't think my feminist is any better or he is any worse. We just have, we just bring different things to the table, and mm -hmm. in order to change things, everything is going to be needed. So we're going to need a lot of his and a lot of me and a lot of everybody else because we need all the voices. Yeah, yeah. so I've probably moved from a, a positive <laughs> feminist to an unapologetic feminist, to you know, even just through the journey of our. Of our of our business because I'm I'm lear I'm learning every day, Virginia's learning every day. But yeah. You know, there's, and a lot of it's about. It's just noticing things, and there's eye-opening facts, and there's eye-opening points that you know that we try to make on the website. But just in, in general, that lots of people are, lots of people are, are taking more and more note of now. And, and uh, yeah, I think you're totally right. There's some crazy stuff goes on in the world, but some great stuff. But yeah, you yeah. Know, some some places. So. Feminism is, is a core part of the, the website, it's a core message of the business. Yeah. 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 Is the business. The, <laughs> is the. So that's the, that is the priority then, yeah. first and foremost, of the business. Everything else is to supplement and support. Yeah, I mean, the mission, the mission of the business is to, is to spread, an, spread an understanding, spread the conversation around feminism and, and you know, get, get people talking about it. Because that's the only way that things change. That's the way, if people come People are not conscious of a problem; they can't, they can't change it. So, so that's the mission. But obviously, obviously, it is a. It is a, a business. A business you know, I mean, we, we need to. Uh, it needs to be profitable, because we're like working full time and we <laughs> eat. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, we both gave up jobs, and we could be earning yeah. money in a company doing something we were not passionate. So for us, it's a massive risk. To put our passion and our skill and our time into this, but we just deeply believe in this. But obviously, it needs to be sustainable, uh, and we think that, yeah. So the books, um, the apparel, the gifts, um, and we will explore future more things in the future. But um, yeah. but yeah, it's always under the umbrella and under the overall vision of everything we do need to have a direct impact in feminism. We wouldn't do anything just because it has to be completely related and we have to believe in the power that it will have for I the person. I suppose in an ideal world in 10 years time, the feminist shop would have made, made its made itself unnecessary. I don't think that would be actually the case, but you know, Maybe. that's... <laughs> Sadly, I thought. Sadly, I think you're you're right. Actually, that's yeah. the thing. Yeah, it's just, but it's good. It's amazing to see. But be interested then to see on social media. And obviously, I'm sure you use social media as a marketing tool. How do you find that for your message and even for your business? We, I mean, you need social media, mm -hmm. and we're growing and we're trying to be, you know, very constant and 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 all the things and I'm finding it an amazing tool just to connect with people with like-minded people and, and spread the message and uh, that say I think it's a minefield I think it's it, there's algorithms and there's rules and there is the lack of visibility and, and we are so saturated like you just spend time doing just relevant content and then you don't know who, who's gonna see it because you know, we are constantly bombarded with a lot of different things non-stop and so I'm finding it necessary and I think it would be great for us especially to connect with people and see, get them a taste of who we are and that we're here and, and just open that conversation and create that community. But I don't think is necessarily um, intuitive. I think it is a bit disappointing sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, so no. that was sad. No, no, <laughs> it was happy face. No, <laughs> like a good disappointment. I, I, I totally no, I totally understand it, yeah. Social media can but you know again you think of all the things that happen on social media. Again I know myself and um, and you know over the last couple of years you, you see some even today we're open up social media and see some 
trash on it. And yeah, it's, yeah. It's, uh, it's amazing again. Do, it's, sorry. It's finding the right. It's finding the right balance. Hmm. You know, it's sometimes. Sometimes we see in our social media that, you know, we put out great posts with statistics that we think are going to shock and surprise and educate <laughs> people, and the engagement is average, and then, you know, there's a slightly more quirky picture of, of one of us or, uh, you know, something which, something which is a lot less important in the grand scheme of things, but the engagement is massive. Yeah. So it, it's it's it's, I suppose it's learning, <clears> but you know what resonates with your audience as well but it's sometimes it's sometimes yeah, it's a bit disheartening yeah. like you tell people that you know every three seconds woman is married under 18 is married by force worldwide and you're like wow i mean this is gonna blow people's mind and then you put a picture of a cat mm. just doing something oh my god like it's just a cat. Shared and yeah, tagged. Shared and tag. Oh my god, you're gonna love this. Look, it's a cat. And you're like, no, get in the road, yeah. man. And you can't do anything about it. I think it's the, the way people scroll and the, or the, the information we want. And there's a lot of text. Our lab, like our capacity of, what's the name? Um, attention, attention, attention spam. It's something ridiculous. So you can't get people to absorb that depth of message in social media. So I think our learning would be through getting the people to get to the website and just watch the videos and see the blogs and things like that because although we're gonna keep trying <laughs> to do our you know, bite-sized content, we find that it's very difficult to compete in with what people want. People want fast and now and visual and you know, dopamine and yeah. Dance, dance and cats. Yeah, but it is. It's a great. It's, it is. You know, that said, it's a great. It's a great channel for us. It's what drives. It what drives people to a website because we're able to give bite sized bits, bite sized bits of what we're of what we're doing. It's just. It's just a. It's just a journey as well to 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 find your your right niche and, and grow it. Mm -hmm. and, you know, and I think if so you go to our social media, you get a taste, a real taster of who we are and what we do. Yeah. So even if that post in particular and that moment is not getting all the engagement that we would hope so, I think if somebody comes and, and take the time to see, okay, who are they about? What is this? I think you can see our ethics and our beliefs and, you know, what we want to do. It's also, it's also allowed, us, allowed us to connect with feminist authors, artists who we're now, who we're now collaborating with, you know, on the other side of the world. You know, that's the kind of thing that... Yeah, wouldn't have social been, media is wouldn't be possible otherwise. So it's you know it's fantastic in that respect. Oh yeah, yeah, it's great. Yeah, yeah. I'm just wondering again. Obviously, you're you're going through the journey now, and there's probably uh, companies who are a few steps behind you. Uh, is there any advice or thoughts for local businesses or small businesses who are trying to or starting on the journey that you would you would share with them? I go. You go. Um. Well, social media is quite a good segue into that. It's um, for us, you know, the real positive there is the the reach, the international reach, the fact you know where we want to become the global feminist, you know, feminist brand, feminist destination. So that's and we couldn't think like that without social media, without <laughs> without the internet, without the the fact that we can build a multi multilingual web website on the to do list. Not not there yet. Um, but so for, for especially for, for, for local Northern Irish businesses, it's 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 thinking big really. I mean it's there's a world of, there is literally a world of opportunity out there. Northern Ireland's a great place for us to become known in in local in local um, circles and, and movements and, and, and test ideas, but we're we're very aware that there's a there's a there's a whole market out there. And there's loads of Northern Ireland businesses that are massive. <coughs> Work with some of them in some of the in the e-commerce companies that are massive international success stories. You know, all, all all coming out of here. So it's it's not. There's definitely the capacity and the and the and the knowledge and the and the experience to do it. It's just it's just going for it. But you know, just definitely the work. Yeah. <coughs> um, <coughs> my advice, and I'm I'm gonna quote somebody very very wise that I knew 
it's gonna be just like get as much support as you can and <laughs> <laughs> although who told you that huh? so my reason aren't this the CEO of Profile 3 I'll pass you I'll pass you the deeds yeah you should pass it on uh, but yeah it's true I'm finding I'm like appalling the amount of great support this city offers mm-hmm. I mean it feels like the whole city is cheering up for you there's mentoring and there is um, the council have a lot of programs the Ulster Bank we're in the accelerator of the Ulster Bank we were in the springboard program with Catalyst and um, I've done things with women in business um, and there's so many things and if you just you know take the time to invest <coughs> in the business <coughs> sorry but yeah, if you take the time to invest in the business and get the things right from the beginning, um, I think long term will save you a lot. So so yeah, that will be my advice. Ask for help. It takes a village. You know, talk with people that know more than you. Everybody's you know is happy to spare some time with you and give you some advice which mistakes they would have made. Everybody's happy to have a better entrepreneurial ecosystem. So it's in everybody's benefit that you succeed. Um, so yeah, just use it. Yeah. Excellent, great advice. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Unbiased. <laughs> so if anyone's watching this and wants to reach out and connect, or find out more about the business or find your your shop, what's the, or where is the best places for them to go? Um, so thefeministshop.com. Good. That's it. Straight to the point. Most that's important. That's, yeah. that's the most important. And then, you know, the social media, the... Yeah, our handles are um, thefeminishop.com, all written, D-O-T com, um, both in Facebook and Instagram, and then the Family Shop on Twitter. So, yeah, oh, there oh, we are. Yes, say hello. Excellent. Again, thank you very much for coming in and, and sharing your story with us and, and what's happening and educating us all in feminism. So, really appreciate that. And uh, what we'll do as well, for sure, underneath this video, click on the links to the, the shop and check it out. The content on the website is incredible, how the guys have created some amazing videos and podcasts and written uh, blogs as well. So do check it out. As I say, it's one of the best e-commerce sites I've seen in a long time. Uh, and uh, say hello to the guys. You can see they're, they're uh, very friendly and very nice to talk to. So uh, an e-commerce site that you need to check out. Um, please do share the video and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you again.